Okay, everybody, this is a quick how-to for recreational styles and performance hair and makeup. So first of all, we're gonna do the bangs back. Uh, it says tiny poof, and I'm just gonna explain what that is for, that's for older recreational styles, younger recreational styles. It's just we're gonna collect some hair, and sometimes we even back comb it just a little bit, but this beautiful lady's hair, I can just twist to make a little bit of a bump, just for some added style, and I'm gonna take a flip clip, and I'm using a dark one. It should match your hair color, but just so that everybody can see it. So we either back comb that so it makes a little poof, or we can do a little twist, especially if you're in a rush, a twist works. And then I'm just gonna flip clip that down, just like that. So uh, I would comb that out a little bit more, um, just to make sure that it's nice and smooth. And then from there, for the high curly ponytail, you are literally gonna take a fine tooth comb and you're going to gather the rest of the hair into a pony that is pretty high. We don't want it right on the top of everybody's head, um, but if you put a book on the top of the student's head, you would want it to be right underneath that book. So I would comb away, I'm gonna hairspray as well, just to keep that nice and smooth and to keep her bump in place. And then I'm gonna take a hair elastic as well uh, that should be matching her hair color, but again, so that you can see. And I would just pony that up. So we're gonna wrap that around several times. There goes my comb, awesome, awesome. And we're gonna make sure that it's gonna stay in place, but not too tight. Little students really don't like it when it's too tight. And then I'm just gonna put some curl into that. So I'm gonna take a curling iron and just give her hair some curl. It doesn't have to be tiny, tiny ringlets, uh, just something, something nice, but not so loose that it's just a wave. All right, so that's really basically all you're doing for that high curly ponytail with that little poof. And I'm gonna say thank you to Maya, and we're gonna grab Macy. All right, so the older style uh, for recreational and performance classes is the same idea, the little bangs back. So again, these beautiful girls are about to go into a class, so I'm not going to hairspray and back comb their little poof. But again, I would do some of this, and I'm gonna hairspray that, so that that little poof of hair is gonna stay up just a little bit. And then same thing, I'm gonna take that flip clip just to keep it forward. If you can't find a flip clip that matches their hair color, you can use bobby pins to kind of do a crisscross, but we just want a little bit of a section that is clip forward. If you need two flip clips, go ahead and use them. Just make sure that it stays in place. And then, depending on the style, take a look at what your teacher wanted on our website. We would just keep the hair straight, or recreational older classes have a loose curl. So that's definitely not, you guys, a ringlet. That's just, you're just gonna put a wave in here and there, just keeping that for it's just like that. We're now gonna show on Macy the recreational makeup. It is really, really, really easy, everybody, I promise. So close your eye for us, Macy. We're just gonna take our eyeliner pencil and make sure it's a soft pencil so it's easy on everybody's faces. And we're just gonna take a line that goes from the inside corner all the way out. Make sure your pencil is really sharp as well. Just so we get a nice line happening. So I'm just gonna do this really fast on Macy here. So I'm gonna take that line no further than her eyebrow. That's plenty to there, and then look up for us, Macy. And then we're gonna make a line starting in the middle, and we're gonna join right to that outside line. We're gonna have her blink a bunch. Make sure you guys to let your student blink, um, especially if they don't wear makeup every day. So we're just gonna take that out like that. So that is all the eyeliner that you need. Um, just that inside corner out, and then halfway and out. And after that's done, you would take some mascara, and Macy's already got some on, so you're gonna really work those lower lashes a bunch. So you're just gonna take your mascara and go, 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 get those lower lashes looking really, really good. And then, not so much for tiny tots or five to sevens, but our older classes, we do ask you to use eyelashes. And if you do have some tiny tots out there or five to sevens that really don't wanna wear any makeup, we are totally good with that. We don't want anybody to be uncomfortable. So for eyelashes, 
We're gonna take the lash and we're just gonna put some glue on the edge, just like that. All right, and make sure that the shorter end is on the inside corner of her eye. And then from there, we're just gonna get her to close her eye. And we're just literally gonna put that right on there as close to her eyelash line as possible. And you just push that on and then we're gonna have her just wait as, as that dries. So we're just gonna say, hang on to that, Macy, don't move. And you can kind of angle it down a bit. What you don't want is to be way up on the eyelid. You want it down as close as possible to the edge. So I've shown that on the other eye just so you can really, really see it. But again, don't worry about our little guys, our tiny tots, five to sevens, that's totally fine. If they are receptive, um, five to sevens to wearing eyelashes, great. If not, older students only, for sure, for sure. So I'm gonna let her dry with that. And then in the meantime, same thing, only older students, we're gonna do foundation, which is a liquid that you just smooth onto the face really nicely. Some face powder we would put on with a big fluffy brush like this, just a loose powder, just to make sure that our faces aren't shiny. And then we're gonna take some blush and we're just gonna put that right underneath her cheekbone. So it's really, really easy, easy makeup. It's very, very simple to do. We don't want anybody to worry about it. And you can get the older students to actually practice and do their own. Okay, so we've got some blush going on. Done and done. And then from there, the last couple of steps are lip liner and lip gloss. So what we're gonna do is take the lip liner and all the colors are listed on our website. If you don't find the exact same color brand, do not worry about it. Just something kind of in the plummy zone. I'm showing you an Indian brown here so that it can pull up on our video. And we're just gonna outline her lips just to make them a little bit bigger than the size that she has, even though she has lovely, gorgeous lips. And we're actually gonna fill that in as well because it's gonna stay on for the entire show. So I would fill that line in that I just made and then I'm gonna finish off with my lip gloss just to cover that so you have a really, really nice shiny lip for a stage. And that is actually it. All right, thanks so much you guys, enjoy.